our founders, who were Armenian immigrants, uh, met through separate paths uh, in Seattle. They were both, um, they'd both left the areas of Armenian Turkey that they were from, and somehow they both landed in Seattle together about the same time, we think around 1905, 1906, something like that, and they were both staying at the YMCA. They, uh, they took a drive over to this part of the state, and they fell in love with this area. It's uh, physically, it's very similar to uh, their home. It's arid, it's dry, it's hot in the summer, cooler in the winter, kind of a rolling brown agricultural kind of landscape. Felt very familiar to them. And my uncle, Mark Balaban, had been, his family had been in the fig business uh, in Smyrna, Turkey, and he'd actually worked in the fig operation. So they thought, you know, this is good. There are apples being grown in this area, so we, we'll get into the orchard business, and we know something about that, you know, being in the fruit business from past experience. And they bought a small orchard here, and they named it Liberty Orchards. They were very um, typical first-generation immigrants um, coming out of a difficult situation in another land and being really grateful uh, to be in America. And they started working on this candy recipe. In uh, the Eastern Mediterranean, there's a, there's a confection which um, goes by different names, but uh, in Turkey, where it's probably most famous, um, it's called lokum or rahat lokum. The Greeks call it lokumi, the Syrians call it something else, but, but all the peoples in that part of the world make a product like that or very similar. It's more commonly known in the English-speaking world as Turkish delight. So my grandfather and uncle, um, you know, they knew lokum as kids, they loved it, and, and they had recipes for it or recipes that they remembered. They remember how their mother made it. And they had this idea that they would take uh, their apples that they were throwing away uh, and instead try to make candy out of it. And so that's how applets got started. Um, it was a kitchen stove kind of project. And at the time, there was also a small commercial walnut crop in this area. So they used the local apples and they used the, the local walnuts. 